but Hazuki Sensei. Uh, My father?
father. No! For Hazuki Sensei.
Ryo-san, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuksan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Ryo-san, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh... The man called Landi. What did he talk with my father about? Landi demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusa. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san! Why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san! Where are you going? You're not going after them! Please, don't! Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei! They killed my father, right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father.
Fuxan. What? About those men? If you go after them, take me too. No way. Why not? Later. Noriko. What's up? About that day. That day? Ah, uh, the day of the incident. I heard about it from Nozomi. It must be hard for you. No, I'm fine. Did you see any men wearing black suits that day? No, I didn't. What about them? It's nothing, really. No one's home? Hey! Hiya! Are you looking for something? Nothing really. Perhaps they're out? No one's home? Hmm? Hey, Joe! Hi, Megumi. Uh-oh. You got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But, mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! 
She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad. Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too. Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast he got shocked and fell. And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Um... Oh, hello, Ryo. Kondo-san, the day of the incident, did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumia-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumia-san. I see. Excuse me? Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Now, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm. Maybe Sakura Gaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea.
Have you found it? Yamamoto's house? No, not yet. Wait here a bit longer, please. I thought it was around here. I'm sorry to trouble you. This isn't it. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Excuse me. What is it, baby boy do? The day of that incident, did you see any men dressed in black suits? I don't have the time to fool with looking at men. I see. Did anything unusual happen that day? You again. With me, every day it's the same old routine. I see. Use your head, baby boy do. Yes. So, are you gonna buy this little deal? I'll take this one. So, are you gonna buy this little deal? I'll take this one. I really should talk to Yomagashi-san at least once. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakura Gaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay.
Hiya. Hey, y'all. Let's play together sometime. Sure. See you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Mayumi. Hey, Ryo. What's up? It's about the day of the incident. You saw the black car hit the cat, didn't you? How did you know that? Megumi told me. That little chatterbox. I'm sorry. That's all she talks about lately is that kitten. That's all right. Can you tell me about the black car? About the car, not the cat? Right. Um, sorry, but all I can remember is that the car was black. I see. Excuse me. Terribly sorry, but would you mind asking someone else? Hi, Kota. Hiya. Going out to play? Yeah. Is that right? Don't stay out too late. Okay. Bye. Um... How are you doing? See you around. Hello. Ah, it's Dio. Come on in. Akedagawa-san. That day, when it snowed, did you see a black car? Hmm, let me think. No, I didn't see any. If I remember right, I didn't go outside all day. Is that right? Excuse me. Hi. I have something to ask you. What is it? On that day, did you see a black car? A car? A black car? Yes. No, I didn't. I see. Yuriko-san. Oh, Ryo. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it probably came through here at high speed. Well, I don't think I saw it. I see. Why don't you ask at Komine Bakery or Uokichi Seafood? They're usually out in front of their shops, so they might have seen it. Yeah. Maybe I can practice here. Think I'll warm up a bit. I'll lose my edge if I don't practice. Thank you. 
That's enough. Hey, how are you doing? Did you see a black car that day? No, I didn't. Has that car got something to do with a suspect? Well... Oh, I remember the owner of the seafood shop talking something about a car. I didn't ask him for details, though. Thanks. I'll go and see him. See you later. Hey, Ryo. It's about that day. Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? The day the snow turned to rain, right? That's right. It was really chilly, so... I raised the temperature for preparing the dough a little bit higher than usual. But I guessed wrong, and the dough didn't rise properly. Well, see you. That day, did you see a black car? A black car? Yeah, did you see a black car pass by here at high speed? Well now, I don't remember seeing one. I see. A black car. Well, why don't you ask around? Thanks. Excuse me. Hey! That day it snowed. Did you see a black car? Yeah, I saw one. Really? But I only got a glimpse of it. I see. Sorry, I can't tell you more. That's okay. Um... Oh, not now. I'm too tired right now. If you want to chat, can you ask someone else? Itoi-san. Yes! We have all kinds of patches and... Have you seen a black car pass through here? What? A black car? Yes, the day the snow turned to rain. Yes, I remember the snow and the rain, but I don't remember seeing a black car. I see. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? The day it snowed, did you happen to see a black car? Huh? A black car? Apparently it drove through here at high speed. Oh yeah! I heard something about that. Oh. About the black car, did you remember? Yeah, man! I heard about it a couple of days ago at the hamburger place. Something about some black car that was speeding. I wasn't paying much attention, so I don't really remember. I see. Ask the owner of the hamburger place. Thanks a lot. Do you have a minute? Sorry, but, um, uh, if you're trying to pick me up, forget it. Find someone else. Tom. Hi, Rio. I heard about your father. I'm sorry. Have one of my special dogs. It'll perk you up, I bet. Thanks. I'll have one next time. Anyway, on that day, did anything unusual happen? N no, nothing. I see. Well, if you remember anything, let me know. Sure thing, I will. Excuse me. Yes? May I ask you something? What is it? That day, when the snow changed to rain. Oh, that day with the strange weather. Did you happen to see a black car that day? Hmm, I don't think so. I see.
Shinkichi-san. Hey, ya, uh, Ryo! Do you know anything about that black car? Yeah, uh, what are you talking about? Did you happen to see a black car the day of the incident? Nope, I didn't see it. That day we only had a few customers due to the snow and the rain. I spent most of the day reading the horse racing paper, checking out my odds, you know. I see. A black car, hmm. Shinkichi-san, I'll see you later then. Wait a minute, yo. I just remembered something. What? That girl over at Aida Flores mentioned something about it. That she got splashed with mud by a black car driving recklessly. The girl at Aida Flores? You mean Nozomi? Yeah, she's a classmate of yours, isn't she? Uh, yes. I saw her working at her shop today. Right, thank you. Someone else on. Hello there, yo. Aoi san? Yo! Hey, Oryo! Did you see a black car that day? What? A black car? Yeah, a big black car. Well, I heard Nozomi at the flower shop got mud splashed on her by a black car. Nozomi? Yoshie said she saw it happen. Try asking her. Right, I'll do that. Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. On that day, the snow changed to rain. I heard you were splashed with mud from a speeding car. Yeah. What kind of car was it? It was black, and the kind of luxury car you don't normally see around here. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Tom. Hey, Ryo! Tell me about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. Right, man. I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much.
Um, sorry, I'm in a big hurry. I see. Minako-san. What? Who's the best person in town to ask about people from China? There's a Chinese restaurant just over there, isn't there? If you ask there, maybe they know. I see. Excuse me. How many today? There's something I need to ask you. Who's the best person around here to ask about people from China? China? Hmm. How about the Chinese restaurant? You mean the Ajiichi? Next to the drugstore? Yeah, that's the... They'd know. I'll give it a try. Yeah. Son. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? 
Yes. Oh no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please. Is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mam Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Um... Yes. Can you tell me about the Three Blades? Sure can. There's the barber, Maeda-san. The tailor of the patch shop, Itoi-san and the cook at the Man Pukuken. Oh, and another barber at Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But their shop's not open. So we've got Maida-san, Itoi-san, and Man Pukuken Ramen. You got it? Yeah, thanks. Excuse me. Sorry, I got some stupid business to take care of. I'm not in the mood for talking just now.